Hey guys, so um, welcome to Babaton. If you've never taken this class before, good news is you need no equipment at all, you just need a little bit of space around you. We recommend doing this barefoot or in socks just because a lot of the stuff that we do does kind of graze along the floor and shoes sometimes don't really make that feel very comfortable. Plus it's a good way to get your barefoot training in, which is an awesome thing. Um, it is to the music and it's going to be continuous play, so the idea is that we're doing medium intensity cardio with the deep work of bar, so you're going to feel the burn. Cardiovascular intensity is going to be about a 6 out of 10 the entire way through. It's all about breathing, you should feel nice and flushed up at the end of this. So go ahead and follow along, do what you can, modify as you need to. If your knees start to hurt, you know right away um, that maybe you need to ease up on how far down you go. It's always okay to modify and listen to your body before you listen to anybody else, and that's always true for every class that you take. So let's go and start off in parallel position. We're just gonna start off with our feet because that's a good place to start. And just kind of start by working your way front to back and just feeling the bottoms of your feet explore and try to expand on the floor. Let's go and catch the tempo back, and back, and front. Just starting to feel everything open up. And on the down beat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a simple stretch of the toes, one at a time, there we go. And right, and left, right? Just kind of stretching everything out, and really feeling the space between your toes. Should feel nice, right? The feet are so important because we are going to be getting into some balance work. You want to make sure that they're nice and integrated. We're going to go into our toe flips. If you took my last balance on class, we did these. They should feel good, remember? Don't feel like you've got overstretched. We're just opening up the toe joints. All right? One more time, we're going to move into some toe work. All right? So from here, shift the weight back, fan all the toes up, and then come front, press the toes down. Back, separate the toes like peacock feathers, front, press them down. Back, and front. Now take a look down at your toes, and you should notice that they naturally fan from your pinky toe to your big toe. That's the natural way that your toes land. Down in front, right? Back. And then they just go all the way down. We're gonna reverse that, which is gonna be really weird. It's gonna rock your world. It might actually slow you down a little bit. So if you fall off the tempo, it's fine. Here we go, try it. Go back, now big toe first. That's called the reverse fan. Up, this will warm up your feet super fast. <laughs> down. And reverse, good. We're just gonna do one more time, and then you can practice it on your own. For now, we're gonna go into the plie and lift the toes. Now, I'm lifting more than just my toes. I'm alternating, you can't really see because I don't have a whole lot of flexibility in my ankle joint. But every single time, I'm lifting one ball of the foot off the floor. So the whole top of the foot is coming up, right? I've got a combination. This one is a coordinational challenge for you as well. I love coordinational challenges in the feet. Right? What we're going to do is the toe that's lifted is now going to go into your toe stretch like we did before, but you have to alternate. This is going to be tricky. We're only going to go for eight of them, so here we go. So we're going to go. Lift one side and press. Other side and press. So toes and heel. Toes and heel. Weird, right? That's something to practice on your own. For now, let's go on to a deep breath in and out. We're going to move into the shoulders. So start to deepen uh, deep up your plie, right? Or your squat, since we're in parallel. And just focus on your breath. We want to breathe deep today. So, we got a little shoulder combination. First of this is gonna go down, out, and up. So it's a triple, uh, triple bounce in that squat position. I want you to drive your weight into your heels and really open the chest. Down, I'm gonna add one more part. At the top, open the chest. So down, out, for those of you who take a lot of fitness classes, this is a reverse squat, right? Triple bend, triple bounce. Two, three, and then open the chest at the top. So I'm pulling my elbows back. Let's do four more. Four, two, three. Three, open into that breath. Two, fun, right? Last one. We're just gonna finish with some shoulder rolls. So, down, roll back. Down, roll back. Fun, right? Loosening up the joints, that's how we start. We'll get into the brain teaser combinations later on, but for now, just really feel all the joints that liberate themselves. Keep going. Down, and up. Down. Open the elbows a little bit more if you want to. Whatever feels good. You've got four more. We'll catch the down beat and we'll move into the spine. So the hands are gonna go into, or onto, your knees right here. Give me a curve and then the heart comes through. So it's a cat-cow, but there's a little bit more of a snaking action to the head. Curve, 
and then the tailbone and the hips make away from each other for that ball push. See if you can make this as big as possible and breathe into it. And arch. And curve. Arch. Curve. And arch one more time. Now find that perfect middle between your curve and your arch. That's called neutral spine. And then from here, tip one, uh, hip back. So I'm sitting into one hip at a time by straightening out one knee at a time, right? Just feel a little stretch, right? We're gonna accentuate that by adding a spinal twist. So the same arm as the leg is gonna drift up. Eight more. Three. There's a breath in there if you're willing to catch it. Three. Four. Last four. Three. Two. Now, from here, Take it all the way down. If you're picking something up, and roll up through the spine, feeling every piece along the way. Back to those breaths, down and up. Catching the down beat, we're gonna go bring the feet together. All right, here we go. So squat and up. Real simple, hands on the hips, no distractions. We're gonna go to the rotators next, right? This is a little unfamiliar territory to everybody. I'm not everybody, but a lot of people. But remember your neutral spine as we get into this because we're gonna keep it upright now. So just bend the knees. So I'm not leaning forward, I'm not sticking the back. I'm not tucking, I'm neutral spine. I'm just sliding my back down a wall, an imaginary wall, right? Good, now what I'd like to do is change nothing, but turn your toes out every beat. So down and out, seven, six. Start to feel the muscles that have to operate here. These are your stabilizer muscles, your rotators. You might feel your inner thighs as well, right? Keep this going, try not to tense anything up. Let it feel loose, but just add the arms. Down when you're down and up when you're up. Down and up. Start to notice your abdominals. When you, when you have this, the pelvis wants to kind of tilt. That's the natural tendency, right? Keep it under and you feel your abdominals engage. It's a good thing. Now stay turned out. Down and up. How are we? Now remember, look down at your feet. You don't have to go into a massive turnout. Your knees should be gliding right over your toes each time. If they're dipping forward, you might be overturned out in the feet. So let's add a rise. Up. Melting through the ankle joints. Three, four. Check in with your breathing, make sure nothing's restricted. We're gonna do a roll through. This was from my last class as well, because it's my favorite. We're gonna go bend, pick up the ankles, lift it all the way up and down. So you're drawing basically a circle with all of your joints. Fingertips pick up the heels, lift it all the way up to your maximum height, and then back down. Again, down, lift it up, press high, and out one more time. Try not stopping. Keep it going. We're going to do four times faster. No changes, just a little faster. Here we go. Down, two, three. But don't let it be down, two, three. Think liquid, continuous movement. That means all the muscles are working. Good news is, that's over. From here, I'd like for you to go back to your parallel, go into your cat cow position, press the hips back. Hands on the floor, or your feet, or your shins. Go for a stretch, and we'll go into those uh, hip sits that we did. And alternate here for a second. Try to relax. Give yourself a deep breath and roll it up. Come back to your turn down position from here. We're gonna go point front. All I'm doing is trying to stretch the toes as long as I can in front. So, now think of this, we're gonna call this a reach. Reach front, so I'm bending through that standing leg. It's like I'm trying to touch something with my toes, right? Let's go and add the arms. Front, front, good, front, front. Four more times, four, Three, two, now let's try the same thing to the side. Let's go right away with the arms, because I'm feeling pretty good about this, going out to the side. So now you want to touch something as super far out as you can. It's called a reach for a reason. You're reaching out. You should feel everything opening up, right? Now we're gonna do a combination. It's gonna be front, front, side, side, right? Here we go. Front, front. Get the brain ready, side, because I got some tricky combinations for you today. So some of these combinations that I have coming up for you are gonna feel really good. You're gonna be like, nailed it. And some of them are gonna be like, I can't wait till this is over. Here's the good news. This is technically our first combination. 
they're going to get a little bit more elaborate when we get into the body of the class. We're still kind of warming up, right? But remember, we're only going to repeat about seven times to the right, seven times to the left, and then you'll never see the phrases again. So let the, some of them be good and some of them be bad. Reach a little bit longer. And if you're feeling explorative, see if you can actually brush the toes off the floor. Brush. Oops, wrong arms. <laughs> brush. This is your last time to the side. From here, we're going to do what's called squish the butt. Take a point to the side. Point. Big bend. Back to the side. And close. Okay? Other side. We're just going to alternate. A big bend. And then right back up on the other side. This is called the tonnelier in my way. You've already done it. Basically, this just transference of weight. Arms are going to follow the movement. Out. And up. We're going to do this a little faster. Out. Reach. Breath. Same thing a little faster. So, one, two, three, close. One, two, three, close. Just transferring weight, that's all. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> one, two, now here's the change. Slow it down again, but this time we're going to go over the top. Over, so all heels up and over to the other side. So now instead of transferring down underneath, I'm now transferring over the top. You should feel your feet really active as you press through the toes, okay? The arms are going to go out, up, down. So it's just like a breath. Feel like you're going up and over. This is going to feel a little bit better when we go faster. We break stuff down slow, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's easier. Here we go. Just a little faster. One, two, three. And then as the arms, they look like they're breathing, right? But can you actually find a breath to go with it? times just to keep up with the music and really feel that activation. How's that neutral spine working for you, right? No pitching back. Totally upright because there's no reason to do anything else. All right, new combination from here. We're going to go find the knee, turn it in, turn it out, and then into a three-quarter point. So up, turn parallel, back down, and then just the ball of the foot. The arms are going to go breath out. Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> I mean, maybe Frankenstein's not the right cue. This is your first balance challenge for the day, right? Let's try it a little bit faster, okay? Same thing seven times. One, two. If you're having a hard time with your balance with this one, try to keep your standing knee a little bit bent. Sometimes if we lock the knee, we have a little more trouble connecting to the core. So for now, just try to keep the knee a little bit soft for three more. Up, two, three. So feel like you're opening and closing like a book. Not too bad, right? One, two, three. And then switch, triple bend. We're going to go to the other side, OK? So this leg is going to lead. Find the knee. Turn in parallel. Back out. And then three-quarter point. Up. Starting slow. So this is our last little warm-up phrase that we're going to do. Let's add the arms. Out. Open. Woo. Back out. <laughs> and down. This is probably, I think, the hardest balance of the day. I think. We'll find out as we go. But for here, we'd like to speed it up seven times, and then we'll get into our first phrase of the day. One, two, three. So when you turn in parallel, you definitely don't want to feel like it's just one leg, right? It's not just one leg leading the way, right? Both legs are the way. So one, you've got three more, three, how's your foot doing, is it getting tired? That's that barefoot training I was talking about, stronger feet means stronger core, I promise you. Triple bend to close that off, and we're going to be on our first phrase of the day, starting with the hardest one, we're going to go, big bend to the side, then bring it to the front, reach front, and then back to your three quarter, so big bend to the side, three quarter. This is all stuff that you've done already. Now we're just kind of mishmashing them together. Here's the arms. Side. Opposite arm's going to come forward. Reach, so opposite arm leg, and then back up. Those are all the pieces. Down. Three quarter. That's your whole phrase. We're going to do this seven times to the right. One, two, and reach. So there's a lot going on here. It's weird. You're going to feel a little wobbly. It's designed that way. Because bringing it in right here, 
it's going to twist you a little bit. It's going to want to twist you, so you have to use your core to engage that. Three more times. Down, two, and reach. But I want you to really focus on one moment. That, uh, just reach, like you're giving me something. Triple bend, we're going to go to the other side. Triple bend. Now three quarter on the other side. Then we start. Big bend, slow. Three quarter. Reach front. Then back to that three quarter. Again, big bend. So this is our first phrase. There's only one, two, three, four phrases that we're going to do. That's it. Arms, opposite arm and leg. Reach front. And in. Back down. We're going to do this a little faster, then we're going to go back to the other side. And I'm going to show you an optional progression if you want to take it. Let's go faster. One, two, and then give it to me, right? One, two, and ha. Ah. That should feel like a breath. What it should not feel like is a uh, right? <laughs> Nobody wants that. There's no uh, in that one. Three more times. Three, two, ha. Ah. Two, Last one, then we have a triple bend. We're going to go to the other side. We're going to go right away fast, but I'm going to show you how we can make this even more challenging if you want to take it. Here we go. So here's a regular. One, two, extend. Now, if you want to, you can take the foot off the floor. Little box to the front. Take it side and lift. So even more balance is necessary. This might be going really good for you, right? This might be going really horrible for you. But I have really good news. After this one is your last one. Make it count. And now, last one, we're gonna go triple bend. Oh, I screwed that up. We're gonna go to the other side, sorry. So, regular first, and reach. So remember, this big bend. And you can stay here doing this if you want to. If you want to progress it, just lift the toes off the ground. And extend. Out, two, extend. Great news, you're almost done with this phrase. We'll take a little bit of a break for a second. Give me a triple bend, heels together, triple bend. Now just go give a plie and a rise to cool off the break. All right, so that's phrase number one. You're never gonna see it again, even if that went bad, all right? Here's phrase number two, we're gonna go. Find the knee. Reach front. Again, from here, you're going to fall on top of it and then push off. So, find the knee, reach the front, then transfer the weight over and then bring it back up. So, find the knee. It's kind of like a rocking horse. So, we're going to add a little bit of a reach. Reach long. We call that an arrow. It's kind of like what we call um, an arrow pass in ballet, but we're not doing arrow pass, we're doing arrow pass. So, there's a reach forward. Let's go um, two more times faster. Reach long. Sorry, two times slower. That's what I meant to say. Find the knee. Now reach, reach forward. Like, help me balance. <laughs> All right, let's go a little faster. And one, two, reach. Now there's only one thing I want you to really focus on on this one, and that is right here, right? If you reach big, your chances of success are bigger. So really feel like you're striking to that position. That's four. You're gonna do three more. One, Two, reach. And one, two, reach. Really strike through that position. Now from here, give me a, a little flexed foot. That's gonna be our transition to go to the other side. So we're gonna go, find the knee, reach front. Step on it, and then transfer back. Find the knee, reach front. Step on it. And remember, how big you make this is up to you. The arms went up, out, reach, same arm as foot, and then back. Find the knee. That's your prep. We did two extra slow ones on the other side, so we're gonna do it again. Two more times slow. Really feel that reach when you're strike towards it. Last one. Now the challenge is, we always learn it in a slow pace to kind of develop the movement. Now keep it just as clean as we go faster. Here we go. One, two, reach. Or think of it as one, two, strike. One, two, strike. And remember, you've got this arm here for support if you need it for your back. Three more. Three. And reach. Two. 
reach further. Last one, then we have that transition. Do you remember it? I hope so. It's a heel pop. Heel pop, we're going to the other side. Ready, set, and reach. So we always do everything seven times to the right, seven times to the left, two times through. So if this is the phrase where you're really struggling, don't worry. We've only got about three more on this side, seven more on the other side, and you'll be done with it. I'm on the wrong one. Sorry, I just really figured that out. <laughs> on the last one. <laughs> Give me that heel pop. Plie, pop. Prep other side, let's close this out. Finally, two, reach. Finally, two, reach. Three, reach. Four, five, six. This is your last one. Seven. We're going to go to a different holding pattern, but give me that four starch. Pop, just to seal the deal. Now stand wide. We're going to go. Big bend, tap side. That's all. Just take a second, shake it out. Breathe. That's two phrases down. You've only got two more. Now, in a normal baton class, I might do a couple more phrases, but for today, we're just going to do these four. Finish with a little cardio pop at the end. And you're done for the day. How are you feeling? Feeling like you can do this? I know you are. <laughs> all right. The next one is going to go right into El Junco and El Trunco. We're going for the curtsy lunge, right? Here we go. Point back. Curtsy lunge. Point back. Just that. Curtsy lunge. Point back. That's the whole phrase for now. We're going to add on later, but for now, I really want to have that depth in the curtsy lunge and really, really go for it as we go a little faster and in the arms. Just pick it up to the front. Down and up. Three. Do you feel it in the front leg? That's correct. Right here. You should have most of your weight on that front leg. Now close heels. Go to the other side. Ready? Curtsy lunge. Point back. Curtsy lunge. Point back. The arms just went with it. Down when you're down. And up. Down when you're down. Let's go a little faster. Just as deep. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. This should burn. Two. We're going to add on to that. One, but for now, go back to your point back on the other side. Here's the second half. Box to the front, point back. So I'm lifting my heel front and back. So I'm making a little box shape. The arm is going to go open and close. Open with the heel. Let's try that a little faster. Keep that back. Here we go. Seven. Six. Five. Four. So you should feel this coming from your inner thigh. Inner thigh is lifting the leg. Last one, close the heels, point back on the other side. Ready, slow. Lift, feel the inner thigh, then back. So try to show yourself your ankle bone. That's the idea. So if it's here, you're missing your ankle bone. You have a beautiful ankle bone. Let's see it. Oh, there you are. That's your turn. Let's go faster. Seven. Six. So we're gonna put those two small phrases together. Easier said than done. It doesn't look like much, but boys, this one a tough one if you keep the depth of your curtsy lunge. Here we go, switch sides. Ready, curtsy lunge, slow. Curtsy, point back. Add on the second part, point back. Curtsy, point back, so you're already on your balance. Swing, and back. Good. The arms went with the movement. Pick it up, brush it through, and back. One more time, slow. Then we're gonna go a little bit faster and do our repetitions. Ready? Seven times fast. Here we go. One, two, brush. So there's something really special about this one. There's a lot of deep work in your curtsy lunge, right? You're gonna feel that. But can you actually let that go? Keep your balance, trust it, and let the leg actually just swing. Three more, three. Do you remember that transition we did on the other side? The heel pops, we're gonna do that again. You've got one more, and we're gonna go to the other side, starting slow. Down. Give me those heel pops right here. Ooh, if I can find my balance. Point back, here we go. Curtsy lunge. Point back, we're just breaking down the phrase. Lift, and back. So by now you can get the idea. We always go four times slow, seven times fast, to break things down. 
then we repeat right like that. Add the arms, down. So the slow ones are where you want to really feel like you're defining how low you're going to go. It could be just this low. That's correct. It's not cheating. Those muscles are on. And eventually, they'll go deeper. Let's go faster. Sit in seven times. Down. Two. Swing. Two. Two. So the trick is with this one, you want to get that swing to where it actually feels kind of like, ah. you got to get your balance right here. Boom. Not like what I just said. <laughs> Three. Right on top. So then the leg is liberated. You've got one more, then we're going to go to the other side. Down, two, heel pop. Point back on the first side, here we go. Fast, down, two, up. This is the last set. Down, two, up, three, four. Can you go a little bit deeper if you're feeling pretty good? You're almost done. Two. Last one. Then we have the heel pop to transition. Bring it all together. Heel pop. Other side. Fast. One. Putting everything together. Six. Whoa. <laughs> Five. Four. Last one. Woo. Heel pop to close it out just to seal the deal. All right, let's go back to our holding pattern. Bend, tap side. But let's add some arms. So we're just kind of getting our brain to relax a little bit before we go into our last phrase. All right, here we go. We're going to start with the ball to the side. And then we'll lift up. Just that. We're going to break the same phrase down like before. Down and push. Down. We're going to keep going. Add the arm across. And up. Across. And feel that back swing. See if you can go further. It should feel a little bit like you're jumping to get back to where you were. Let's try that on the other side before we build the rest of the phrase. Just fall to the side. So how far up can you go? It's another balance. There's power here, but there's balance here. So down, you gotta negotiate. How much do I jump to get to that perfect balance? Good. Let's add the arm, see if it helps. Reach, and then the back swing of the arm helps pull you up. If that's feeling good for you, try and go further. Further out means more work to get back. So you need to work at the level that you want. Let's go for a couple more. So we're going to add a curtsy lunge to that, because why not, right? <laughs> Last one. Now bring everything together. We're going to go on to the other side. Point the foot. No arms. Let's do the full phrase. Ball side. And pull. Now this leg is going to cross behind. Curtsy lunge. And back to the ball side. Ball side. Find your balance for that stick, that, that moment, and then go deep, right? The arms are here. Are you ready for a challenge? Opposite arm is going to tap the leg down to the floor and up. Not easy, right? Tap somewhere on your opposite leg, that front curvy leg. Here, here, here. Let's go a little faster. Here we go. That's your phrase. Final phrase. Before we get into the leg row section, which is our cardio. But we're already starting our countdown. We have the phrase. This is one a repetition number four. You've got three more to go. Three. And down. Two. And down. Last one. Let's keep the same transition just for consistency. Go me that heel pop. Bring it down. Pop. Point other side. Here we go. Side slow. Find the balance. Curse again. Remember when I said these slow ones are not just a breakdown. This is when you need to find how far up I'm going to go. And then the challenge is to keep that same distance when we go faster. Arms slow. Down on the floor. Oh, it was the twist. Sorry. Down. Oh, it was the other crazy lunge. <laughs> now this arm is going to tap the There's your phrase. Let's go faster. Seven times. One, two, and down. Two, and down. 
So the, the cool thing about Peloton is that you can automatically make the workout how hard you want it to be. Three more. If you need more work, reach longer. Curtsy deeper. You got one more on this side. Heel pop to transition. Then we count down seven each side. Here we go. Heel pop. One, two, point side. Here we go. Fast. One, two, tap. Two, two, tap. Three, two, tap. You're almost done. Three more. Heel pop transition, right here, heels together. One, two, point side. Let's finish this puppy out. One, two, down. Two, and down. Three, and down. You're almost done. Four, and down. Last three. Two, Last one, we need that heel pop just to seal the deal and punctuate it. Heel pop, two. Now get a plie and rise. Here we go. Down. Catch your breath. All right, moving into our leg section. This is where we get a little bit more aggressive. First thing to get aggressive is your balance. So take the head to the side. Drop in front like you're looking at your belly button. Take it over the side. And now, let's try the other way. Head to the side. So I'm bringing my knees with it just to make it wide. This is called Trace the Clock. I want you to think that this is a spinal movement, not an arm movement. I'm going to show you some arms in a second that sometimes look like they're taking over the movement. It's the head reaching long, drawing a circle with a sprinkler that wants to get water all over the room. Here are those arms. We go to the side, down. Opposite arm comes up on the other side, so you want to hold it up. That third count is the hardest one. So bring it out. So this arm, then the opposite arm comes up. Right? Let's try it again. Go bigger, or just keep practicing. This is the base of our um, next little mini phrase. It's just a last little balance exercise. You've got three things left to do. Oh, uh, sorry. Four. But let's break this down. So this is one. Two, three, now right up to center four. Now the way you started, you're gonna go reach to the side, find the knee, reach to the side. Now keep going the same direction. So you fall into that side, center, up. Now here's the important part, land right center. Then you're gonna go reach forward. Now find your balance. Two times, let's try that faster and see if it walks on the road. Here we go, faster. One, two, Three, center. So what I'm doing with this phrase is I'm challenging your vestibular system, right? That's part of your balance, right here. So that trace the clock is taking you off of your balance intentionally. Then you gotta find it immediately to stick this part, the tart, and then follow along. And your eyes are a big component. So what I usually recommend is find something on the wall and then right here, come right back to it. Press. That eye focus does it. We're gonna bring it down slow to the other side. Ready. Other side. Bring it in. Slow. Two. Three. And up. We did four times slow. Take it over to the side. Up. Back to the side. There's your phrase. We're only doing this one time. This is just meant to be a little balance challenge before we kick it into high gear with a little bit more cardio. It's not going to be like killer cardio, but it's just one last little pop before we say goodbye. Again, slow, two times more. So if you're feeling good about this phrase, this is the opportunity for you to make it bigger. Remember, your, your slow ones that we're doing right now, that's your goal set. Because the challenge is, can you keep it just as big as we go faster? Last time slow. Define what the big ones are going to be. What's the challenge going to be? Here we go. Reach long. Bring it up. Here we go. A little faster. Ready, set, and go. Two, 
three. Find your center. Reach. You got that one moment to find your eyes are locking on your reference point. It might be a picture on the wall. Boom. But that is going to help regulate the vestibular uh, system, right? Where your head and your body know where they are in space. Let's go three more. Maybe four. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Alright, let's do two more. And they'll be the last two. Then we're gonna move on to three little deep muscular work slash kind of cardio-ish things. And then we know. The hardest part is over. So let's go on. Moving on from here, we're gonna go big bend to the side. Bring it parallel. We're not sure if you'll do it right now. Down. And then heels together. We're only going this way. Wide. Parallel feet together. <laughs> Flush it away. Now keep it deep. We're going to go faster. Eight times. Here we go. One. Flush. And up. Ooh. It should feel like a burn in your legs. If you're not there, try going wider in that, that second position. Or use the arms. Flush it. Like you're really throwing, like shaking out a towel. Two more. We're gonna go slow to the other side and bring it down. This should be elevating your heart rate. Here we go. Other side, slow. Why? Find your parallel. So you're on the opposite side now. Uh, last time I'm gonna say this, the slow ones are all about defining how big you're gonna go. Let's have the arms. Out. Shake out the top. Back out. And uh, you got one more. Out. Shake out. Eight times fast. Right, left, right, left. Here we go. One, two, three. Up. Two, two, three. Four more. Remember, deeper is better. Deeper. I know, at this point your legs are like, uh-huh. But guess what? If your legs are not feeling it, that means you did what you came here to do. Let's go to the other side. Keep it going fast. Four times each side. One, two, four times each side. Just for the sake of time. Last time on this side. Immediately other side. Here we go. Last one. All right, from here, give me a plant to the back, and then brush on the side. You have this, and then one more thing left to do. These are your final two. These are going to be brushes to the side. But I want you to really feel your push in that standing leg. Let's try the other side before we make this in anything more. Back. Brush. Back, and then really push into the ground. Push. Because the harder you push, we're going to turn these into kicks in a second. Right? And that comes from your standing leg. Let's start on the other side. Here we go. A little down, brush, down, brush, down. Seven times, let's switch sides. Push, ha, push, ha. Doesn't matter how high your leg is, switch sides. Other side, down, brush, down. This is not about leg height, it's about standing leg push. It should feel a little bit like a release. Seven, switch legs. Seven times right, seven times left. Down, press, down, press, down, push. This is getting us ready for our jumps, which is what we're gonna finish with. Last one, switch sides. Here we go. Down, brush, down, brush. Three, four. No balance on this leg. <laughs> 
to a one in second position. Down. Down. You ready for the last thing? We're just going to finish with 16 jumps. The jumps are always optional, so that way we're going to develop our takeoff and our landing without leaving the floor in this path. Down, heels up, down, heels up, down, heels up. So that heels up represents your jump. So you have your takeoff, your jump, your landing. Now let's take it a little bit faster. No jumping yet. Here we go. Down, up, down, flat, down, up, flat. So if you're feeling pretty good, we're going to go for eight jumps in seconds. You have this, and then you're done. So if you want to set the heart rate one more time high, here we go, eight times. One, two, three. If you're not jumping, it's here. Four. Remember, that's your path. Keep going. Six, seven. Keep the pattern going, no jump. Four. We're going to do consecutive jumps. So now let's go play around. Right Clear right. Ready? Ready? Eight jumps. Four, three, two. Good news. Bring it parallel. Deep breath in. Press the weight. Feel the back expand the chest. You're done. Deep breath in. Only up to eight jumps. That's it. Again, now add the knees. Bend in. And then push. Like you're opening drapes. Again, push. And push it away. Good. From here, let's go back to the cat and cow we did earlier. Curve and arch. Curve and arch. Feel the shoulder blades unlocking. Now, bring a neutral spine through those twists. Same thing as the one. So we don't really need to do a whole lot of stretching at the end of a balance class, although you can. We've been doing dynamic flexibility the whole time. So it doesn't really require a whole lot more than just taking your heart rate down. Back to the curve and arch. This time really feel the shoulder blades slide into your back pockets as you arch. Good. From here, I'd like for you to go into a wide second position, hands on the knees, and just lean forward. Stretch one shoulder, and then stretch the other. Kind of go at your own pace here, breathing through. Good. And from here, going to take over one side of our stretch. Then flip it down so you get an inner thigh stretch. So you could be here, or if you've got the flexibility, you can lower all the way down. Transition to the other side. Thanks for joining me for this class. I hope to see you again soon.